Yo, what's up? It's Logic here with Nick Huff Barilli from Hard Knock TV. And you're watching the No Pressure interview. What else do we have here? I'm trying to think. Oh, this is another beat that I had made for the mixtape that I was going to do. And then, you want to hear it? I feel like that's what happens if you take Logic, MF Doom, and Dilla and just throw them all together and make some, cause all the weird timing sequences, which is Dilla, the super grittiness of Doom, and then just like my breaks, I love, I'm like, I take pride in my drums, dog. Cause the thing I do with drums too, here, let me see if I can show you another beat actually. The thing I do with drums is I will like, can I do it on the house one? I don't know, what the fuck? Here's another beat I made. <laughs> How about this one? This one, this one, this one's crazy as fuck. Six, you remember this? Where is it? As a rapper, when you make a beat, does it automatically make you want to jump on it? Or do you ever think of like, oh, I'd make this beat and I'd want somebody else to jump on it? Yeah, no, it makes me want to jump on it for sure. Cause I'd be wanting to make shit I'd want to rap on. Even if it's like weird and totally different. Would you ever make beats for other artists? Yeah, but I just don't know if anybody would want them. And then I, 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 and then I don't feel like sending out beat packs and keeping tabs on because as a rapper i know what it's like to be like hey, do, hey don't let anybody get this and then three years go by and you, you never rap on it and then you and then you hear it somewhere and you're like hey man i, I laid a scratch vocal on that dog it's pretty funny this song this beat's called horny let's see why It's like a prime example of Six giving me a sample and then I just go in. All those things he gave me, he gave me those drums, he gave me this, but those are like multiply, multiple layered drums. So like this, uh, this is one. Right, and then yeah, so that's that's pretty fun. Gives me some NWA vibes. Express yourself. Yeah, hundred percent. And then what's I'm trying to think of the uh, oh, this is a fucking dog. This is like one of my favorite beats I ever made. <laughs> Here, you want you want to hear my my first beat tape? What kind of questions are these? I'll play it really. I'll play it really quick. <laughs> this is my first beat tape. When you say first beat tape, when did you make this? Uh, last year. All right, what's the matter, partner? It's official, old buddy. It has been 
What are you talking about? What did that guy tell you? Told me the goddamn truth is what he told me. Oh, whoa. Oh. Hey, oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. Here, put these on. Don't cry in front of the next one. Which guy are you so upset, man? You are an excellent warrior, but I require more. He has money. Name the one you have chosen, and surely he will die by my hand. He goes by the name of Bobby. This whole album uh, or um, B tape was inspired by Tokyo, and then like this, this is the sample. I just pitched it up and chopped the shit up. Remix Toro Imas. You said this B tape was inspired in Tokyo. How does the city inspire you? I don't know, man. I mean, I really love anime and I love Japanese culture and, you know, just going and getting fucked up at the Ritz every night and just like overlooking Tokyo drunk with my wife is a vibe. After a sober day at the studio, well, at least half the day. <laughs> when we go to Tokyo, we get fucked up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just like different vibes and then, you know, I could be inspired. Like, I have this beat that I redid. Um, Nujibis did it. And then I always wanted to hear drums on it, and he never put drums on it, so I did. I got this other joint, Corday did a verse for my beat tape. Pressing all of my brethren is dying lately. I'm not lying, all this defines. 
forces try to break me, but I stand strong as a man should in these times. Food stamps in section eight got me pushing these dimes. Yeah, pretty dope shit. So you got a whole beat tape. You got a cover on here. We're not going to show it, but there's a cover on your iTunes playlist. Mm -hmm. What stops you from from putting it up? Um, I think I could. I'll drop a beat tape. I could drop a beat tape. That'd be fun. Yeah. So I I could probably do that. It's just got to be right. You know what I mean? The mixtape thing, I'm really iffy about though. You like extra with that? Uh, oh, we're gonna get a million. Uh, don't, don't <laughs> I'm gonna hold you accountable. We're gonna get a million. Yeah, I doubt it. That's why I gave you that number. Yeah, that would be that would just be a lot of f f like just fun sh rap shit. This is like, um, yeah, I think I think I'm just really tired of the industry. You know what I mean? Like I'm just tired of sales and numbers and clearances and deadlines and meetings and quotas and you know fucking quarterly ends and I, I I that shit just drains like the creativity. That's why I went so hard with no pressure because I was like, all right. I ain't making shit. This is about to cost us so much money. Like, it's crazy. Um, but, you know, rapping on other people's beats is just fucking so much fun. And that, that was just a really fun time. Um, and I'm still going to do it just to do it. I have to. It's like... It's your air. It's a release. Yeah, like I have to do it. So I'll yeah. always do it. But as far as just... I don't know. I'm just not really into... into well, why not release the beat tape for free? Yeah, I could do that, cause there's way too many samples on this shit. So I could, I could definitely do that, but I don't know when, where, how. I'm just so just thinking about my kid, man. And so when I come to the studio or I make beats, it's, it's so for me. It really is. It's kind of funny, cause I have thousands and thousands of beats that I've made. I can only imagine it's fucking six over there, but. I'm trying to get six to drop a six tape forever. Yeah, six got some crazy ass beats. You wanna hear one of the one of the um, joints we couldn't get cleared? No, nah, I'm not gonna play it. I'm not gonna play it. The, you know the giant, the giant I called you about on yeah. yeah. That one's pretty crazy. Damn, I got too many beats, bro. The hell is this? Akira. Oh, how could I forget? Open mic. Open mic. It's called a piece of light. It might actually be spelled peace. Yeah, I think it is. This is the intro to the Roots How I Got Over album, which is one of my favorite albums of all time. Highly slept on album. Pretty sure Kendrick rapped on yes, this on Overly yeah. Dedicated, yeah, right? <laughs> That's all good. You're just making the video better, Jay Black. I was trying to figure out who it was because I had heard it before. So just I took it, in on there, chopped it up. I can actually see what I pressed, which is crazy. And then let's go ahead and bring this in. Um. That's basically the beat. <laughs> so, <laughs> I wanted it to be very simple because I wanted it to be like an open mic. And the intro is actually inspired by Love Jones, the movie. Uh, the movie, because they're always doing poetry and open mic. So I was like, oh, that'd be cool. So I had my brother Damien 
come in. He was like, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pretty sure we have footage of that shit, too, which is crazy. Somewhere. Probably Schwa. Yeah. I'm going to... What? It's on your phone. I shot that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> JT's like, yeah, don't forget, bitch. <laughs> um, uh, and I actually have a few things on my phone, and we have a bunch of shit. I think I want to, like, collectively, I'm going to have all them, like, edit parts of the album's creation that we have and just, like, put them put it out on my youtube and stuff i think that could be really fun so That's people dope. can get an inside look but it's not really a documentary it's more just like fly on the wall this is what happened oh shit final form you fuck with dragon ball sample dragon ball z soundtrack listen to this shit Yo, this is called Link Finally Got the Pussy. <laughs> Let's see what it sounds like. Guaranteed video game shit. No. <laughs> Straight up. Save me, it's the princess again. If you save me this time, I'll give up the pussy. Hey, yo, it's Link. I hope the pussy don't stink. No, I'm just kidding. Let me stop. I'm joking. <laughs>